For GalacticHunter.com, this is Adam Paulus with another Galactic Hunter video review. This week, or today, Star Wars VC-100, Starkiller, it's Vader's Apprentice! And I promise I'll make any Trump jokes about this new figure from this new wave, which has five great releases. He comes on an Expand Universe card back with great artwork, a Darth Maul sticker, I could take your leave a sticker. The back of the package is pretty much what you've been used to over the last several figures. The uh, sticker comes right off, if you prefer. I do. Of course, I opened it, so you won't see this character art anymore, which comes from the LucasArts video game designers. It looks great. But how is the figure? That's a good question. He has all this stuff. Gauntlets, armor, lightsabers. Just look at it. He's got a, a snap-on armor, a couple of uh, gauntlets for his wrists, a skirt piece, a TIE pilot gear, and articulation. 14 points of articulation. He has no problems sitting, standing, what have you. Holding his stuff, it's all perfect. Uh, he's also got some uh, lightsaber hilt holsters in his belts, the removable ones. He has a hole in his back for a backpack. He's got a partially open TIE pilot-ish outfit. And if you look at the sculpt, it's relatively simple, but still nice. It looks like an Imperial pilot kind of a figure, just like it was in the game. And the face looks like Sam Witwer. It's a big improvement over the previous releases. Here you can see the uh, straps and where you can plug in his lightsabers. He has an Imperial logo on his arm. It makes me so happy. That armor thing in the back comes off if you want. He has his twin lightsabers, just like in the game, because he always had two. You can hold them any way you want. They're lightsabers. And he likes to stab people with them, which is what good anti-heroes do. Uh, nice short haircut. Here, both lightsabers are plugged into his belt. And that's Darth Vader. And there he is in his alternate costume. You pop on the shoulder armor, you take off his head, you put the armor on, you slide up the skirt, and you clip on the uh, wrist armor, and then you can hold his lightsabers, which you can see here. There are two different sculpts, the hilts match those two sculpts, and the overall figure looks great. Uh, he even has one place to store a lightsaber on the back of the longer skirt piece. Here he is with Starkiller from the first game. There's several Starkiller figures, but I would still say this is the best of them so far. So if you only get one, get this one. And get it at Entertainment Earth, where you can order it now. And see more great stuff at GalacticHunter.com. Thanks for watching the video, and if you enjoy it, tell a friend. We appreciate your support, and we'll make more.